Hi, I'm Doug Adams, the developer of Dupin, and right now I'm going to show you how to quickly get started using Dupin. The first thing to do is to tell Dupin where in the iTunes library to look for duplicates by using the playlist pop-up. This lists the media libraries and playlists in iTunes. Here I've chosen music, and that will limit the search to just the tracks in the music library, which is probably what you want to do most of the time. Now we're going to set the criteria. These are the track tags that Dupin is going to look at to determine duplicateness. Now, generally speaking, if there are any duplicate tracks at all in the library, it's likely a lot of them have the same name, album, artist, and track number, so that will be the criteria. Now just click the Get Dupes icon in the toolbar, and Dupin will look for groups of tracks in the iTunes library that have the same name, artist, album, and track number, and then sort the results by dupe group. Okay, so here we have a bunch of duplicate tracks arranged in dupe groups. You'll notice that the far left column of every track entry is a checkbox, which is checkmarked. The checkmark designates that track in the dupe group as a keeper. When a track is unchecked, it's a non-keeper. Now right now they're all keepers, but ultimately what I want to do is keep only one track, one keeper track in every dupe group, right? But I'm not going to do that manually. Dupin's filter controls will very quickly choose the one keeper in each dupe group automatically. The filter controls window has a bunch of options for determining the keeper track in a dupe group. And for this demonstration, I'm going to filter for the track in each dupe group that has the oldest date added. Then I click the filter button and run the filter. Each dupe group will have a single checkmark keeper track and one or possibly more unchecked non-keepers. You can run the filter configured differently as many times as you want. Now after the dupe groups have been filtered, that's when Dupin's tools become available to use on the filter dupe groups. And what I want to show you now is how to remove the non-keepers from the iTunes library and trash their files. The Dupin tool for this is Purge, right in the toolbar. And when you choose Purge, Dupin will ask you to confirm that you indeed want to delete tracks from iTunes. And click Remove. And then what you want to do with their files. In this case, we want to send them to the trash. The settings are all set, so we'll click OK, and there they go. Tracks are being removed from iTunes, their files are going to the trash. So that's a quick look at the very basics. Let's recap. First you choose the criteria and do a get dupes. Then you filter the dupe groups for keepers. Then simply purge the non-keepers. There's a lot more that Dupin can do, so be sure to have a look at the documentation in Dupin's help menu, and you can see other videos at the website. Thanks for watching, and thanks for trying Dupin.